All right, everyone. Now uh, we're gonna talk about. Uh, wait, let me fix this. Uh, really quick. Ah, much better. Brighter. All right. So we're going to talk about uh, related rates again, and uh, this one is an angle of elevation problem. So it states. A balloon rises at the rate of 3 meters per second from a point on the ground 30 meters from an observer. Find the rate of change of the angle of elevation of the balloon from the observer when the balloon is 30 meters above the ground. So now we have uh, the observer balloon uh, 30 feet away. Okay. Oh no, wait, that's meters actually. Alright. Uh, for argument's sake, we're going to say that uh, it rises at uh, 3 feet per second, since I put feet here. <laughs> okay, pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, so, now um, we want to see when the balloon is up here at this point, uh, what at what rate this angle is changing. Because obviously, uh, when the balloon is on the ground, the angle is 0 degrees, so what is the angle when it's up here so you know that doesn't uh, technically matter for this problem what the angle will be there we just want to know how quickly it's changing for argument's sake it's going to be uh, 45 degrees so and since it's a right triangle technically uh, as we can see it's going to be 45 and 45 um, these angles here so um, now, uh, basically, we want to see uh, based on this what uh, we want to find the rate of change of an angle. So we're going to have to use some trig. Now we want to find a uh, trig property, uh, an equation of trig that we can use to uh, to find the rate of change of an angle. Now, okay, so we want to compute the rate of change of this angle. So let's say we can think of this as a tangent theta is equal to um, Sakatoa opposite over adjacent okay so it's going to be 30 over 30 but we're not going to put 30 over 30 that'll be 1 uh, which is 45 degrees that's how basically you would get uh, the angle but um, so we're going to call this y and this x okay so we have y and x right so that's just going to be uh, y divided by x alright so now we want to find theta we have to uh, take the inverse tangent divided by x. Sorry my y's look so terrible. <laughs> Alright so now we have a we solve for uh, what we want. We want the angle of elevation. Okay now so what we're looking for is uh, theta prime or the rate of change of theta with respect to time. So we could just write d theta. Let me write it over here actually save some space d theta dt is equal to okay so we're trying to find uh, what's the uh, derivative of inverse tangent okay that's uh, u prime divided by 1 plus u squared so now u prime what's uh, this is u what's the derivative of uh, y divided by x going to be uh, the derivative of y with respect to time times x minus uh, y times the derivative of x with respect to time okay now all of that divided by the bottom squared so divided by x squared Okay, now all of that divided by 1 plus y divided by x squared. 
So that's a, a u prime divided by 1 plus u squared. Okay, so now we can uh, basically plug in what we know. Related rates problems aren't, you know, so bad. They're, uh, you know, it's it's kind of like uh, basic physics. I think maybe that's why I like these problems so much. I love physics, so. Uh, now, let's see. So we know that uh, the y is changing at 3 feet per second. So dy dt is equal to 3 and times x, which is 30. Okay, minus y, which is 30, times, oh, wait, minus y, which is 30, times dx dt. x is not changing with respect to time, so it's a 0. Divided by x squared, which is 30, which will be 900 feet. All of that divided by 1 plus, okay, so this is going to be uh, y squared divided by x squared, according to uh, basic algebra. Now, so y squared divided by x squared, so y squared is uh, 900 divided by 900, which is 1. So this is just going to simplify to be 2, because 1 plus uh, 900 divided by 900 is 2. Alright, so now we do uh, the calculations. So let's see, so this is just going to be 0. It cancels out. Okay, so this is going to be 3 times 30 is 90 divided by 900 all divided by 2 which is equal to okay so we could cancel out one of these zeros so 9 goes into uh, 9 once and 9 goes into 90 10 times divided by 2 which is equal to uh, 120 radians per second okay so we calculated this now this angle of elevation it starts at zero then it goes all the way up to 45 degrees is changing at uh, 120th uh, radians per second so let me just write that formally here I guess I'll do it here d theta dt is equal to 120th radian, radian, sorry, <laughs> uh, per second. And there you go. This is not too bad, uh, you know, it's just some of the, the tough part is, uh, is knowing which equation to use. In this case, we used uh, tangent theta is equal to uh, y divided by x. You know, if, if you have another problem, you need to know, oh, I need to use this uh, certain equation, you know, then differentiate with respect to uh, time. So, that's often the uh, the hardest part. Because there's a lot of equations, different problems, a lot of them you need to remember. If you could remember every single equation, then uh, any related race problem, you'll know what to use. But, uh... It's not the case uh, most times. So, well, I hope that helped, and um, I will talk to you guys later in another video. Thank you.